Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. Welcome to my new series React JS Complete Course. So in this series we will learn about the Redux, Redux Thunk, uh, React Query. So these are all the React, React JS and all those things. We'll try to complete it. So welcome to my. So from now onwards I will try to do the React JS also. So come completing just like the Angular depth concepts and all those things I will try to complete it. So first let's see the concepts which we know earlier. So why? Because we have already did the React JS complete course. So if you are not aware of that one, so you can take a, take a look at that uh, React JS complete course. So I will start here a little bit fast uh, regarding the props and all those things. I will complete it a little bit fast. We'll try to learn some other concepts. So almost all the topics I have covered in the React JS. So here we will be covering React query. These all things we'll try to do it. So first let's recap uh, what are the concepts that we have learned and I will try to complete the videos also in those things which we haven't uh, uh, which we have did it here. So there is no need to worry if you doesn't know these all the concepts. I will try to do those. I will try to make those videos also. So first I will do a simple Ajax call how we can do it and how we can bind it here. We'll try to see. So here this is our uh, JSX file. So we'll try to see that JSX code also about this one all. So I am creating a new function. Okay. So get post. So this is our method. So we will be writing this for like this only. So don't worry about this syntax thing and all those things. Don't worry about this one. We'll try to cover it. So function get post. I want to get the uh, details. So I will be using the JSON placeholder. So for this one, I will be using JSON placeholder dummy API. And here we will be having this API. So here I will try to get those details. Okay. And here I will use this one. So I will be using the S await thing. So that is the reason I am using the sync. So constant response is equal to await fetch off. And here I will paste the de uh, details like this. So here you will be having the details. Let's make it. Yeah. And here also let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So this is our response and here constant post is equal to we can make it a singular post is equal to await response dot json so we got the response data now what i can say is so here i can have constant post comma set post is equal to we need to use the use state so it should be imported from the react use state so that should be imported from the react so that is nothing but here at the bottom or top we can use it import from react here we need to import it from the react and i am using the use state here use state so let's say that we are yeah use state use state of so for the time being i will keep the empty and here i can write the data so set post of that post data so whatever the post details we are having it and posting it so we got we got the get post details so if you try to see this url what will we have what will we will be having in this url is if you try to see here we are able to see a title right so let's try to uh, display the title so in order to show the title what we need to do is so here i can write something like due and here i can write the title like this and here we need to use a single rows not the double braces so in Vue.js and Angular, we'll be using the double braces. Here we need to use a single braces. And here I can write the post.title. That's it. Now if you try to see here, we are not able to see the output. Why? Because we have we aren't calling this get post data. So we need to call the get post. For this one, we need to use the use effect. So use effect. So use effect, these are the side effects. And on mounted, I need to call. So on mounted means I need to keep an empty array here. And I will call the get post. That's it. So now if you try to see the output here, we are able to say get the details, right? So now this is how we will be doing the basic thing. So how many, so I want to make this one as a dynamic. Let's try to make this as a dynamic for making this dynamic constant post ID is equal to uh, math dot random. I will try to make math dot random into 10. I will make this one all. Uh, so this one is something like uh, uh, parsint. I will make it as a parsint. Oh, sorry, parsint. Sorry, parsint. And here I will uh, do it like this. And I will do plus one. Okay. So this is our post ID. And I will copy this post ID. And here I will make it as post ID here. That's it. 
so now if you see the output for this one so here we are able to get the data now what is the problem here we are getting uh, JSON placeholder plus post ID oh sorry we have given the semicolon right it should not be the semicolon yeah here we are able to get it so we need to get the random data or something like that so we'll create a button here here I will create a due and in this one I will create a button button post details or otherwise get post details and for this button I will close this button and in this button what I can do is on click okay on click so we need to use like this on click not uh, brackets or at the rate like that we should not use it so here I can use something like get post on click I need to call the get post so now if I click on this one so we will be able to see the post data we are getting it changes so randomly we are getting the math.random so if you want to display the ID means so here this is the ID we can display the ID whichever the ID we are getting it so here I can display the ID math.random we are using it right do ID I can use post dot ID that's it so let's close the do so now ID is a 2 so this time ID 4 so like this we are able to get the details so here this is how we will be uh, doing the basic uh, react js thing for example let's say that how many times we are calling this api we need to check it so for that one what i can do is i can maintain a count count and i will write set count is equal to is equal to u state of zero the first time it will be zero so here i can write something like uh, message uh, count so here I can write count oh sorry inside I need to write the count and I will close the due okay so this is our thing so if I click on this one count I need to update this count value so for that one what I can do here I can do set count of c value is equal to c plus 1 so always I will try to update the count value with plus 1 so if you try to see here the first time you are able to see the value is updated with count value 1 will be able to see it here let's try to see i am refreshing the page and if you see the count is updated by two so that means two times it is calling so why is this happening is so we'll try to discuss about this one so we are using the strict mode strict mode makes the component to be rendered twice now if you try to see here so it will be called only once see so it is calling only once and if i click on this one so it count is updated and we are able to call it so like this the count is updating so this is how we will be doing it if you want to make a create a new component means what I can do is so here function I can use the counter and here I can return the value so due and here I can use the count and I can show the count okay so I will close the due so this is the count I want to send it so here this counter this is a component and I can use it directly here like this so counter like this I can use it now I need to pass the count value so how can I pass the count values the count value is present in this component I need to send it to here so here I can use the count is equal to count so I am sending it the count and here we need to catch it using the props so props dot count you can write it as props dot count now if you see the output so we now we are able to see the say see the same output if I click on the count here I am able to update it so this is achieved through the props thing so this is the basic thing which i want to discuss you in the react js so the declaration of variables the data variables which you will be seeing in the view js or in the angular something like that so we will be using the use state and here we are calling a, we, are, we will be declaring the methods like this function get post like that and we will be getting the values and here we will be returning the json so j not json jsx value html thing and on click and all those things we will be using it like this we will call like this and this is this is that's it uh, so the uh, component creation it will be like this and we will passing the props data we will be passing the props like this so these are the basic things fundamental things which we know about in the react js if you are new to the react js means no need to worry we will discuss about these things one by one in the videos so this is the basic thing which we have which we know in the few uh, follow my previous react js courses so these are things will be pretty much easy for you so this is a basic fundamental thing which i want to start before uh, proceeding before proceeding it to the further these are the fundamental things which i want to discuss it so that's it guys about the thing 
so welcome to my new series that is the thing i tend to tell you react js complete course we will do a, the, the react js 18 at the time of this recording the version of the react js running is the react js 18 hope uh, if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you